Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. We've had a little bit of everything in Harrisburg on our time lapse. We've had rain, showers, a little fog. Now we're starting to see some bright blue skies. Isn't that a nice sight? So today, clearing skies is the call behind this wet weather system that brought us over an inch of rain in some locations. Right now in Harrisburg, it's 78 degrees. You'll see temperatures popping to the 80s as soon as skies clear. With a dew point of 71, it does feel a bit sticky, though. Winds are out of the northwest at 13 miles per hour. Today, our News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for showers and isolated thunderstorms, mainly south and east of Harrisburg, to end over the next few hours. We'll see gradual clearing, humid conditions, and a high of 82. Tonight, mostly clear, maybe some patchy fog forming up with the wet ground in place. Temperatures are going to be comfortable, falling to the mid-60s. How about tomorrow? Mostly sunny, not as humid. That's the big selling point in tomorrow's forecast. Hey, in addition to the sunshine, right? 82 degrees will be your high temperature. A warm day for this time of the year. Average highs are in the mid-70s. Right now, temperatures are warmer than our average highs. It's 78 degrees in Harrisburg. Pair of sevens there in Lancaster. We have 73 in Gettysburg and the same in Lewistown. Weather and Health Report, checking those ragweed pollen levels, they still remain low. Air quality is good today, and our UV index, it's going to be a bit higher later in the day, but right now, burn time of about 40 to 45 minutes. Live on our radar network, just a few trailing showers, maybe a lone thunderstorm. Most of the action, though, right over Chester County here, especially southeastern Chester County, headed toward Philadelphia and Wilmington, Delaware. So if you're headed east, you'll be following the showers as they exit the area. There's a look at Florence, an elongated area of low pressure, up by Boston actually right now. Florence is headed out to sea and good riddance, so we will see clearing behind that system and plenty of sunshine to keep you occupied tomorrow. Now here's the predictor showing those clearing skies later on today. Tonight we stay dry. Tomorrow that reinforcing boundary drops in with some lower humidity. It's going to feel nice tomorrow. And there's the big blue HI pressure providing some sunshine all day for you on Wednesday. Thursday I think the sun will come and go. We might have some low clouds infiltrating the sky, a couple of high clouds passing overhead. We'll call it partly sunny on Thursday. The key though is dry weather Thursday and Friday. Predictor estimated rainfall totals additionally to on top of what you already have maybe a tenth of an inch at best southeast of Harrisburg until those showers shut off in the next hour or two. Over toward the I-95 corridor, quite a bit more. It could be in for about an inch or so today before Florence moves out to sea. First pitch forecast, hey, the Barnstormers playing in the Freedom Division Championship Game 1 this evening, Susan, and I'm happy to say the rain will be gone. The sky will be clearing, so keep the field tarped here next couple hours, then we can take that tarp off later on. And hey, <laughs> first day of fall is officially Saturday. Looks very fall-like appropriately Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. Might get to say the word crisp. Haven't been able to say that <laughs> yet in that? our forecast. Real pleasant fall weather on the way. Sounds good. I kind of wonder what's going to happen with the change of colors, oh, given the, all I the know, rain we've I know. had. I'm a, I love my fall leaves, but it's just hard to tell this year with nearly the wettest you know, year on record for right, the summer. Right, exactly. Thanks, Christine. <laughs>